New York, home to the great Walter Hagen, five times a PGA champion, caddied at nearby Rochester Country Club. Rochester also home to a couple of courageous Americans, Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony, uh, laid to rest nearby at Mount Hope, uh, Mount Hope Cemetery. Well, how we evaluate the athletes we cover and you watch oftentimes comes down to more than their performance. When Phil signs autographs or huddles with Amy and the kids, it undeniably enhances his image. That has never really been Tiger's way. This Tiger, we had seen before. He's done it again. 79 times, in fact. This Tiger, we had not. In 17 years, Tigers hugged trophies and caddies and famously his father. Now, Tiger's the dad. Granted, doing what any dad should do, hug his little kid. And if Tiger doesn't deserve a medal for that, he does deserve better suggestion that this was a calculated response to Phil's family moment. Tiger showing the world he too can be loved, that his heart burns for something more than major championships. Motives aside, Tiger seems to be figuring this out, how to blend his professional life with his personal life, knowing there's a healthy amount of intrigue for it. For Tiger, the operative word is healthy. And maybe Tiger's now playing for someone other than himself, something greater than Jack's record. Charlie's watching. So too is daughter Sam. Their friends will be watching. Will Tiger be more conscious of the example he sets? Charlie's new to this. Tiger's new to this. As he carried the kid off that green, like father, like son, in Sunday Red, they were for a moment hesitant. Then Charlie squeezed hard. Tiger held tightly. A curious public left to consider a side of Tiger they had not seen. Well, uh, Charlie is uh, all of four years old. Think about it. We've been watching Tiger since he was just about that age. Tiger was three when he appeared on the Mike Douglas show. Uh, guys, uh, as, as we wrap things up here this evening, I, I know, Frank, you want to give a shout out to another former PGA champion. Yeah, and Val Heller in 1996, Mark Brooks, lovely gesture today, and, and Brennell, he is often misunderstood. He certainly is. He's the player 